What is up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel for us and you enjoy my content, if you could ring the little bell and buy my soul chop, I super duper appreciate it. Just saying, saying, saying. This is the uh, Bible reading for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate in your Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um. Like I said, this is meant for December 2020. However, there's millions and billions of people in the world, tons of Tauruses. So for some of you guys, it could resonate um, December, some January 2021, some February 2021, on and on. So just throwing that out there. Um, while I'm shuffling out, I was going to let you guys know uh, personal readings are currently closed. However, donations are super duper greatly appreciated. Um, you have to go to my PayPal to donate. It's High Priestess 205. Um, the only thing I ask with that is if you're interested in donating, because these are all free general readings. Um, the only thing I ask with that is one, you have to go to PayPal. Two, you got to use my PayPal um, link, which is High Priestess 205. It's in the description box below if you need it. And three, um, after you select your donation amount, if you decide to donate, there will be a drop down, so clear it out and put in donation. That way, everybody's on the same page for tax purposes. I super appreciate it. Um, okay, this could resonate in your Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Haven or Jupiter charts. And also, if you think anyone could benefit from these messages, Taurus, if you wouldn't mind sharing these on your social media, whatever social media platform you use, like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Parlay, Mayway, I'd super appreciate it. I'm going to use tea leaves to clarify, and then I'll read it. Spirit, can you uh, clarify the Ten of Cups reverse for Taurus, please? And like I said, this could resonate in your Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, North Node Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Her try again. I got three of her try again. Spirit, can you clarify the ten of, ten of I'm sorry, ten of cups reverse for Taurus, please? Someone's been drinking again. Very heavy is what I just heard. Someone's been ow. Oh my goodness. I did that earlier today, you guys, and oh my god, about giving myself a paper cut. Someone's been drinking again really heavy. That's what I just heard. So for whatever courses that resonates with. Lord have mercy, Taurus. <sighs> Apparently somebody's really been drinking real heavy. You know, moderation is key, and I heard heavy, so that's never a good thing, just saying. I'm sure there's probably a reason you're drinking real heavy, or whoever that resonates with. Spirit, can you clarify the two of cups reverse for Taurus, please? And it's probably this, and this, and this. Spirit, can you clarify the Three of Swords reverse for course, please? Someone's about to find their partner in bed with another person. Oh my God. O-M-G. Oh my God. Someone's about to find their partner in bed with another person. That's what I just heard. I am so sorry for whoever that is resonating with. I mean, I heard partner, so that, you know, you take it how it resonates. I, I'm assuming that's obviously a committed partner um, of some type, whether it's um, marriage or um, common law or um, just like a, a committed girlfriend, boyfriend kind of thing um, or a fiance. Oh, Lord. Spirit, can you clarify the tower reverse? I'm sure that's probably why somebody's drinking real heavy, too. Uh, well, I heard you're about to find them, so I don't think that's happened yet. Oh, I am so sorry. These are already so heavy. Oh, my God. Oh, yikes. Spirit, can you clarify the power reverse for Taurus, please? But apparently somebody really needs to hear that, and I hate, I hate delivering stuff like that, but, you know, it's... For the greater good, I mean, somebody wouldn't you rather know on a tarot on a tarot reading and then 
be forewarned when it actually happens. I mean, I would. I would rather be forewarned. That honestly, that's the whole reason why I started um, watching tarot um, years ago myself. Um, was to be forewarned about things um, and to kind of see, you know, possible events in the future kind of thing possibly um that was me personally but everybody's different everybody's time of life has different but that's a that's a rough one for somebody out there just saying oh spirit can you clarify the moon upright for taurus please yeah oh man Taurus is about to get a very angry phone call from a Libra. Spirit, can you clarify the moon upright for Taurus, please? It would be in your best interest to keep it very short and not conversate much with this person. They are very two-faced. That's what I just heard. Ooh, I heard a Taurus is about to get a very angry phone call from a Libra. I heard it would be in your best interest to keep the conversation very short and not to conversate very much with this person because they are very two-faced. So for however that resonates, for whatever Taurus is, um, apparently somebody really needs to hear that too. And that person could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, or Jupiter charts. However that Libra res resonates in your life, Taurus. could resonate in your Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, and Jupiter chart. So it only takes messages that resonate. All right, starting off beginning your reading, we have Ten of Cups reversed. Now, Ten of Cups upright is complete family happiness. It's complete family happiness, however that family happiness is in your life. You know, it could be blended family, um, just two adults, um, a single uh, mom or dad with their kids, how that resonates, but it's reversed. So no family happiness um, in a situation. Now, you know, how that resonates, it could be the one a person about to find out, find their partner in bed with somebody else. It could be the drinking, somebody's drink, uh, Taurus is drinking too much. Well, I heard someone's drinking too much. So it could be you, Taurus, or it could be somebody in your energy field. It could be the drinking of you or your partner or somebody in your um, family unit. Because um, I heard someone's been drinking. So it could be you, it could be somebody else. It could be somebody drinking too much in a family unit. Um, how that resonates. But something in a family unit that is making the family unit extremely unhappy. And then box, you will receive a gift. For some of you, this will be information that will really help you down the line very important information and for some it will be the evidence you need with the partner okay for some it will be information you will uh, be very useful to you down the line and I heard for some it will be evidence against a partner um, maybe it's the walking in on the partner in bed with somebody else I mean that's evidence if I ain't never seen it or heard it or whatever um, some kind of gift um, that's gonna help you um, some it's information, some it's evidence, like actual evidence. And it's regarding, I think it's regarding getting out of this family, um, bad family, toxic family. It looks like toxic family situation. Because, I mean, you've got Ted of Cups reversed. I mean, I'm just saying. And there's somebody about to walk in on somebody, their partner. So, I mean, that's obviously not good. And then, yeah, and then Two of Cups reversed. Now, Two of Cups upright is... Um, a happy um, partnership between two people but this is and it's a usually a romantic partner in some type of way it could be girlfriend boyfriend it could be fiance it could be a uh, spouse um, it could be you know um, a live-in it could be common law marriage but it's reversed so not a happy partnership 
i.e. walking in on somebody with somebody else. Just saying. Which, I mean, and or somebody drinking too much, you know, how that resonates. And then dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Some are having extreme relationship problems because of a failed business. And sexual relationships that were formed during this illegal business. Okay, I heard some are having serious relationship problems because of uh, a leak, uh, of a business that failed, and some and uh, relationships that were formed during this. I heard illegal business um, that were formed during the illegal business, but it, uh, the business failed, and there were sexual relationships were formed during this the time of this when this illegal business actually I'm assuming was profiting, but it's not no more. It sounds like it's tainted, tainted to the ground. But a sexual relationships were formed from it. So that's probably for some of you, it could be um, one of the people from, you know, if this resonates with you, that you're about to find walking in and um, with your partner. Just saying, in the bed. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Or couch or floor or wherever you're about to find them, on the kitchen table. I mean, however that resonates. Um, three of Swords reversed. Which is heart heartbreak and heartache and heart, and loss, and it can be representative of a third party situation, which it's all up freaking in here according to the messages and um, the cards. I do totally think it's a third party situation in here. It's heartache and heart loss um, and heart heartbreak and heart, heart heartache over a third party situation. You intuitively knew this was already happening, and for some of you, you really you knew already. You are going to heal from it one step at a time. Okay, I heard for some of you, you intuitively knew this was already happening, um, and for some of you, you knew knew it was already happening. Um, I guess maybe the walking in is going to seal the deal, um, and it's third party. I mean, sometimes it's not according to the messages in the cards, but in here, it is all day a third party just saying but for some of you you already knew it was happening and for some you intuitively knew it was happening so I'm just saying and then handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important you are going to meet new people that are really going to help you get out of this funk one particular person in particular you really need to treat this person fairly. Is what I heard. Okay, I heard you're going to meet new people to really help you get out of this funk. I guess with your partner, um, obviously cheating on you, and is cheating with you. They're che whoever this is resonating with. They're cheating on you with someone from the past, from some kind of illegal business um, that you met during this illegal business. That apparently um, there was some kind of sexual. Um, sounds like sexual playtime going on with people you met during this illegal business that apparently your partner brought in for more sexual playtime is what it sounds like but you take it how it resonates but i heard you're going to heal from all this because apparently it's still going on with apparently with at least with one person from this sexual playtime business going on your partner is your partner is still going on um maybe you thought it was a one-time thing but apparently they have it is not a one-time thing for them because like I said for some of you are about to catch them in the bed with with this with someone and I think it's from the sexual playtime thing that was going on during a legal business um, but you take it how it resonates but I heard um, you're going to meet lots of new people basically they're gonna help you get out of this funk with your partner um, basically cheating on you one particular person in particular in particular but I heard from spirit you really need to treat this person very fairly they are a very good person, and you know this already. I heard from Spirit, they're a very good person, and you know this already. So I heard you're going to meet new people, lots of new people to help you get out of the funk. So, But I heard you already know this person is a good a good person um, from Spirit. So maybe you've heard about them from somebody, or maybe 
this um, one particular person is someone from the past. Um, you take it how it resonates. Um, but you're going to meet lots of new people. They're going to help you get out of this funk. But this one particular person, I don't know if there's someone from your past or if it's a new person too, but it, it doesn't sound like they're a new person because I heard you already know they're a good person, basically treat them and treat them fairly. So it sounds like for some of you, it might be somebody from the past, possibly, or someone that you've been around energetically, maybe in a work situation, maybe from, from word of mouth, from other people you've heard about them. You take it how it resonates. And then base secret admirer. This person is going to grow fond of you over time. But you really need to take it slow with this person, and you know it. That's what I heard. Okay, I heard this person is going to grow fond of you over time, but you really need to take it slow with this person, and you know it. So, it sounds like this might be somebody you know or you know of, this one particular person. Because, like I said, you're going to meet many new people that's going to help you get out of this funk with this cheater. But I heard... I keep hearing, you know it, you know it. So you either have heard of this one particular person or, you, or you've actually, this really is somebody you've known from the past. How that resonates. And then gavel, involvement with the law. Your, your pa past partner is going to really try to stir up drama when you move on. Stay out of the drama. Move on. That's what I heard. I heard your past partner is really going to try to start drama when you try to move on. I heard from Spirit, stay out of the drama and move on. So, I'm assuming that, you know, this is involvement with the law. So, maybe the past partner is probably going to maybe try to get you put in jail. Or maybe try to um, take you for all you are worth in court. Um, but I heard for some of you, you're going to walk in on your partner in bed with somebody else. So if that's the case, you have physical evidence with your own eyes that you saw this person in bed with this other person. So that's going to help you legally. I'm just saying. So the spirit message was stay out of drama and move on. So if you can do that and just, and you have your evidence, if you were one of the people about to walk in on your partner from this illegal business that y'all met these people through and had sexual flings and it sounds like this person your partner has it's either a person from this sexual flings or another person but either way they're cheating on you somehow hold on a second there's someone yelling out in my front yard hold on a second I'm sorry okay sorry that was a neighbor I was trying to figure out what was going on um but either way that goes um I heard from spirit um stay out of the drive and move on so I'm thinking that will keep you out of, you know, police being called and things like that. And But I think with the law, you're going to, I mean, obviously, if it is somebody you're obviously married to, you're going to be involved with the law as far as legal issues, um, trying to get out of this marriage if you are married, you know, or maybe if you have children, um, you take it out residence. And then the tower reversed. Um, now, Tower Upright is a sudden life-altering event that you knew was coming, but it's reversed. So it's a sudden it's uh, it's a sudden life-altering event that you. I'm sorry, Upright. It's a sudden life-altering event that you did not see coming, but it's reversed. So it's a sudden life-altering event that you knew was coming. So this is reversed. So you knew it was coming. I think it's this moving on from this cheating partner. I mean, for real, for real. It is all up in here, buddy. It is all up in here. I mean, we had spirit message of stay out of the drama and move on. I'm just saying. But you knew it was coming, and so you knew. You knew, you knew, you knew. And I heard previous in here that some of you already knew, knew. But some of you intuitively knew. But I think walking in, some of you are going to walk in and see this person. And that's when you know, no. Just saying. And then Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. Uh... I totally think that's the moving on from the X. Really watch your bank accounts and watch your phone during this tumultuous time. It's what I just heard from Spirit. 
Really, really watch your bank accounts and watch your phone during this tumultuous time. So during this time of, I guess, you separating, like physically separating yourself, probably out of the residence from this cheater um, and moving on, like moving, moving on. Um, finally, um, I heard really watch your bank accounts and watch your um, phones. So maybe your partner has a history of uh, looking in your phone. Maybe um, your partner's going to try to get somebody else to get in your phone. Um, but I heard really watch your phone and your bank account. For some of you, really keep your children in check as well, too. They're going to try to manipulate you during this tough time. Be strong. Okay, I heard some of you, your children are going to try to manipulate you during this tough time of you moving on from this um, cheater. Um, because they know you're, you know, in a low time in life right now. And they're going to try to manipulate you. Um, it sounds like it might be older children. Oh, obviously, younger children. I don't think we did this, but... For some of you, you might have older children. Um, but I heard from Spirit, be strong. Um, and basically stand up to them, you know. Um, don't let them know you're so um, down in the dumps about all this mess. But I heard you're going to move on. Um, and you'll have several people to help you move on. And in particular, one person that you're um, that's going to grow fond of you and you're going to grow fond of them. So that will help too. Um, but don't let your children manipulate you, uh, basically, is what I'm getting from that. And then owl, and it sounds like older older, older children, not younger children, obviously. And then um, owl, get advice from a wise person. You are really going to grow fond of this one particular person because they really give great advice. Okay, I heard you're really going to grow particular this uh, grow fond, particularly fond of this one person, this one particular person we were talking in, about over here. I think it's that same person. Um, I heard because they give great great advice, and they're very wise. Lots of life experience is what I just heard, and they're very wise. Lots of life experience. Okay, so for however that resonates for whoever. And they're, um, so this person is, uh, you're going to grow very particularly fond of them. It sounds like they're going to grow fond of you. But I heard you're going to grow fond of them because they're very wise and they have lots of life, life experience. So for how that resonates. They have really been through a lot in life to be so young. Is what I just heard. They have really been through a lot in life to be so young. So, for whoever this is resonating with, this new person that you're going to grow fond of, and I heard from Spirit they're going to grow fond of you, they can't be very old, because I heard they're, they have a lot of life experience to be so young. So, for how that resonates. And then the moon upright, which is secrets. There were way more secrets in this relationship for a lot of you, then you know. Some are going to be revealed soon. Okay, I heard there's way more secrets in this relationship. So this relationship you're about to get out with this cheater, then you know. But some are going to be revealed soon. Some are going to be revealed in very unexpected ways. That's what I just heard. Some are going to be revealed in very unexpected ways. Okay, so there's, I heard from Spirit, there's way more secrets in this relationship with this cheater than you know, but some are going to be revealed soon in very unexpected ways, so how, for however that resonates. And then bear, danger, especially in money matters. A lot of the secrets have to do with money and other people. Okay, I heard a lot of the secrets have to do with money and other people. So, but I heard um, a lot of these secrets are going to be revealed soon. So, but whatever secrets they are and however they resonate in your life, I heard they have to do with money and other people. So, maybe this one person, particular person for whoever is about to walk in on their partner um, with somebody in the bed or the shower or the couch or the kitchen table, however that resonates, um, or wherever, the car or whatever. I heard um, there's way more secrets than you know um, regarding other people and money, So, but I heard they're about to be revealed soon. Money and other people are two huge 
that's two huge things right there. That's not no little bitty, itty bitty thing there. I mean, it's truly, truly not. Those are the two major freaking things in a relationship. Just saying. Okay. And then seeking and finding. Seek and you will find. Is what I just heard from Spirit. Seek and you will find. Okay. I've never gotten this card out before. It's pretty cool. Seeking and finding. I heard seek and you will find. So um, basically look for something and you will find it. Um, now that could be evidence. Because um, for whoever this is resonating with. I'm thinking it might be evidence. Because um, you have. Whoever this is resonating with. One, you've been drinking a ton. And I think it's because you're unhappy in your marriage or a relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but a relationship. Um, it's all in here. Unhappy uh, home life. Unhappy relationship. Third party situation. A tower is about to come. And their secrets. It's all in here. All in here. All in here. So I'm thinking, I heard from Spirit, Seek and you will find. So I'm thinking this is seek for information. Seek for evidence. And you will find it. And I heard, um, you know, after you get out of this um, toxic relationship, because that's exactly what it is, for who this is for, watch your phone and your bank account. So, obviously, they're doing screwy things with money um, behind your back. And if usually the people that try to get all up in people's phones are the ones that have, have something to hide, meaning... They're hiding something, and they're hiding something big. So, I'm just saying, I think this is here for a huge reason. Heard from Spirit, seeking you will find. So, obviously, you need if you feel like you need to seek something out, then you might need to do that. I'm just saying, whether it's in somebody's phone, whether it's, you know, I would never promote hidden cameras ever, 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 unless it is in your own personal home that you pay a mortgage or a rent for. Now, if it is in your own personal space that you pay a mortgage or rent for and you suspect somebody is cheating on you that is supposed to be committed to you, now that is a different story. I would never promote putting hidden cameras in anybody else's home because that is breaking the law and that's criminal behavior. But if it is in your own home, in your own relationship that somebody is supposed to be committed to you, then... I would say, you know, of course, you could take it or leave it. This is just tarot card reading. But if it was me and it was my own home and somebody was supposed to be committed to me in my own home that I pay a mortgage or a rent for um, and I was suspecting they were cheating on me, I would probably put a hidden camera in my my own bedroom to see if that was the case. I'm just saying. That's just me. You could take it or leave it. I would never promote that in anybody else's home because that's criminal behavior and that's breaking the law. But I'm just saying. So if anybody needs to hear that. But I heard from Spirit, seeking you will find. So I'm just saying, there's a reason that that that's saying that that was a message. I'm just saying. And then sobriety. Once a lot of you get out of this toxic relationship, you will really quit drinking a ton. Once you get around this new one particular, I'm sorry you will quit drinking once you get around this one particular person you're going to grow very fond of is what i heard so i heard a lot of you will quit drinking a lot so the drinking will reduce down a ton once you get out of this toxic relationship and you move towards this one particular person over here that i heard you're going to grow fond of and they're going to grow fond of you um your drinking is going to reduce tremendously and that would be awesome for your health. That would be awesome for your mental health. That would be awesome for you, period. Um, because, you know, drinking in moderation, like socially, every now and then is, you know, you know, that's okay. But whoever this is resonating with, I heard first spirit message, heavy drinking. I mean, that's not healthy for anybody any time of the day, any, any time. So, but I think it's because you're having so much problems in your relationship. So... And that's that's good. I heard once you get out of this toxic crap and you get around these good people, a lot of new people and one particular person that I heard from Spirit, you basically know you need to treat right. They're very wise for their young age. Um, that your drinking will reduce. But you've got to take the positive steps to make it happen, basically. All right, we're done, 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 done. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. Sorry the reading so long. It's almost 30 minutes, but um, 
apparently somebody really needs to hear this. I truly hope it helped. Donations are super duper greatly appreciated. I'm a single mom raising two kids. I've raised them by myself for a really long time. It really helps me and my kids, and we appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakras. All right, I will see you guys later. I hope this helped for real, for real. Let me know if it resonated. Love you guys. Happy holidays. Namaste.